Hey, this is Kirk from Brother B's Bees. This video started out as a video about my swarm traps and what I'm doing this time of year to get them ready to catch swarms of bees. And then something happened. Come and check out what I found. I usually just stick a little something in there with just a little bit of swarm commander on it to give them a little bit of the queen smell. I also have a, an older frame in there. I took it out of the freezer. I'll probably rearrange these and so we'll put this warm trap right up there. Okay, we moved this swarm box to a new location, a little further away from the house. It was in a tree over closer to the house. So we'll see how it does in this new location. Okay, I came back here to check on this swarm box. And for the first time, I saw a bee, there's one right there. There's a bee right inside the entrance and there you see it coming out. So that means that a scout bee has discovered this location and will take the information back to the colony. Now we've had some storms, there you go. We've had some storms, so that box is a tad askew, so I need to straighten it out a little bit. But that's an encouraging sign that hopefully we'll have a colony to move in here. A scout bee will traverse the entire interior of this colony or of a cavity that she is investigating and then we'll take the information or the location back to the colony and each of them as they discover suitable sites they take the information back to the colony share it other scout bees will come and through a gradual reporting and return process here comes another one they make a decision on where they're going to move they really like this spot i'm seeing more and more bees coming to investigate the problem is i'm concerned this is going to fall so I'm going to put a ladder up on the side over there and see how much danger there is of that happening. So there's a notch that that sits in. So my guess is something's been climbing on it. I mean, it could have been wind, but my suspicion is an animal's been climbing on it and dislodged it. Okay, I was able to get it back on its notch. It should be fairly secure. We'll just get out of the way and uh, see if the uh, scout bees continue to come and investigate. Several buzzing around. So I'm going to climb down out of the way. So you can see it's back level again. The 
the bees are coming in increasing numbers. So I'm going to clear out in case they're getting ready to make a move today. I believe it was Thomas Seeley. I'll go back and check the uh, the records. I read a couple of his books. One in particularly in particular, it's called The Honey Bee Democracy. And I, I want to say when 15 bees or so are at a site at the same time, then that's a pretty good sign that that is the site they're going to choose. But I'll go back and check and see whether that's accurate or not. But when I got here, there were there was one. I'm guessing there's eight to ten that I've that I've counted here now. Now, one of the things I'll need to watch for is whether this might be one of my colonies that's swarming. I didn't think I had any that had boxes too full, but that's always a possibility. So, in addition to keeping an eye on whether a colony moves in here, I'll be watching today and tomorrow my colonies to see or try to catch a swarm as it's happening. Okay, we saw scout bees that were investigating my swarm box. So that swarm box is right through there. So we had a bunch of bees checking it out, so I suspicioned that there was a swarm somewhere. So I've been walking around the property looking, and sure enough, there's a swarm right there. So one of the things I'll need to decide is whether to go ahead and put them in a box or to let them, if it looks like they're going to, of their own accord, move into my swarm trap, just leave them alone and let them do it. Pretty close to them, but they're not paying much attention to me. I'm not saying I've never been stung when dealing with a swarm, but generally I have found they're just not aggressive in a swarm. The way I found them, I've just been watching and listening and I heard them before I saw them. And what's going on is you have a bunch of scout bees that are going out looking for possible locations and they're coming back and reporting to this colony. They will do waggle dances on the side of the, that wad of bees. And other scout bees will go and check out the potential locations until they come to a general consensus on what is the best. So here's what I've decided to do. I had put this box up here just as a swarm trap. Well, now that I've got a swarm, I'm going to put this box right next to them. There's also the swarm trap that's in the tree and that'll give them a couple of options. I'm just going to see if they'll move in those, not try to, to do it myself. Now they're already checking out this box. Of course, it's got propolis on it and wax. I've got a frame that's already combed out. Got to put in the freezer. 
I even have a little bit of queen smell on it. how they communicate use it to tell them where food is and also when they're swarming they use it to tell them potential home locations dance there, two of them. Looks like that bee's doing a waggle dance. Usually in the swarm, they would be telling them where to go to find the new home. I see how she keeps doing that waggle, cutting in the same direction. Now since I put that box right in front of them, there's no scouts on this box. When I videoed just a moment ago, there were scouts all over this box. And there still could be a couple inside, but basically nothing. They're all over there by the box that's right next to it.